This is a brief demonstration of the process faculty can use to add an additional assignment or test attempt for a student. So in this example, Ultra Course, I have this assignment that is set to one attempt for all students. But let's say that one of my students had a problem with their first attempt and they need a second chance to submit. What I can do is I can go to the gradebook and on the gradable items tab of the gradebook, click on the assignment and then locate the name of the student that I need to give the extra attempt to. So notice how my student Annie Asterisk has one attempt to grade and perhaps she notified me outside of Blackboard through email that she needs to try this again due to a technical problem. What I can do is click on the three dot icon associated with her row and click add or edit exceptions. In this panel that appears, I can adjust the settings just for this student. So right now she has one attempt. Let's give her two. So that one attempt that she has counts as that first attempt. Now she's going to have a second chance to submit this assignment. So I'll go ahead and click save. And notice how that adds a little exceptions icon next to the student's name. This means that this student has a chance at submitting another attempt. Let's give it a test. So here we are with this student in the Ultra course. And I can see that I had already submitted this, but if I click on this, in the panel that appears, I can see that I have the chance to start attempt two. So all I need to do as a student is just submit the new attempt. Okay, and now I'm going to attach my file. Let's say this is the paper. And it's going to preview. Give it a moment to convert. And then the student just has to click submit to submit that extra attempt. And that's all that she can do. So she used attempt one and attempt two. Now when she looks at the panel for the assignment, she can only view the submissions that she has made. And the first attempt is preserved in the system and the second attempt follows it. So the instructor can see both of these. If I were to go back to the course as instructor and view the student's attempt history, I should be able to see both attempts if needed. Yep, here we go. So Annie Asterisk has two attempts. I'll click on her name to see what information is available to me here. So the first attempt is hidden from you. I can see the most current attempt. So attempt two is what shows up first. If I wanted to in the drop down menu here, I can go back and look at attempt one. Okay, so it's there for your review that it happened. And you can select the attempt that you want to score and then assign feedback. Okay, so that's all there is to the process to grant a student a second attempt on an assignment.